Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Scorpio friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be part of our family, all right? All right, let's get going, shall we? Now, my beautiful Scorpios, I apologize for the background noise. This is about the third time I've tried to do this video. The first time, I had a cat who wouldn't leave me the hell alone, and she kept trying to... Uh, <sighs> be devoured by the camera, right? And she wouldn't let me read the cards to you. The second time, I just um, put it on pause and it turned it off. So, hopefully, we're going for a third time to charm. All right, so three piles, right? Past, present, future. Remember, when we get to future, it's not set in stone, and it can change at any time during... Well, any time that you want it to, all right? It all depends on you. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And um, remember that this is a general reading. It is not a personal reading, okay? So uh, it'll resonate with a lot of people. If you want a personal reading that will only resonate with you, you'd have to find yourself an amazing tarot reader who will definitely um, give you the perfect reading that will definitely resonate with you, if that makes sense. All right, sorry for that noise. Fourth pile over here. Is the energy anywhere between the past, present, and future, okay? Now, I'm not going to know where it goes, just that it goes somewhere, okay? I'm just basically putting a puzzle piece together, and you guys are deciding from there, okay? All right, let's get going, shall we? So... Past energy is the Page of Cups. This person is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now, my beautiful Scorpios, this person is creative, kind, and artistic, but is also a soft stalker. Now, in a regular tarot deck, a tarot reader will tell you, no, that's not what the card means, blah, 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 blah. But his story in mind says that he hides in a bush, watching you with love in his heart. He's very forlorn, right? So, yeah. He's my soft stalker. He's going to continue to be my soft stalker until, all right, until... I see the devil card, and I haven't seen that as of yet, so let's cross our fingers and hope there's no devil energy. Right, so you had dealt with a tower moment, right? Sudden change, destruction, and questioning your conventions. You thought you were safe up there, and then everybody barged in. It's like you build, um... It, uh, what it makes me think of is this, okay? You know those little food trays that you take food to someone when they're in bed? They have little handles, and they're flat on the bottom? Well... You build a, a fucking a card house on top, right? And in doing so, um, say you got it all perfect and someone walked in behind you and picked up both sides and then flipped them all. And then you got now like 52, 54 card pickup all over the floor. And it's just, that's kind of what happened, right? It's a lesson. It's a hard lesson, but it's either for the best or for the worst. It'll help you grow, though, into who you're going to be. So you got the two of swords, right? Your eyes are closed, and you're trying to look within, trying to make a decision. You're, in, you're very indecisive. You're having a difficult decision with different views, you know? Do I go left? Do I go right? What do I do? But ultimately, you have the judgment card. You're accepting responsibility for a situation and calling judgment on it, okay? All right. Current energy is the Seven of Hazards. You're gaining progress while being patient. So that's good. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Luck, fate, and destiny. Everything is going as planned. You got the Fool card. Now, you are the Fool, not a Fool. All right? A Fool is, is um, an insult. The Fool is the highest, um, well... It's like starting fresh, letting go all that baggage. I don't see a Six of Swords here, but I feel that you let a lot of baggage go, right? And you're starting a new journey with your first steps, and you're making hasty choices. No baggage. You just got an extra pep in your step. And you got these hands that are like, come here, this way, this way. And you're like, nah, I'm good. I got me a picnic thing going on. And you got the Four of Wands. This is current energy, right? So you're celebrating prosperity and... Gaining your rewards with family and friends. 
future energy. Remember, not set in stone. It's a nine of wands. So you're completing tasks. You have gained willpower and persistence. You're not giving up. Oh, hell no, you're not. Everything's looking good. Queen of Swords. You're done with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Someone who's intelligent, sharp tongue, and unscrupulous. Sorry about my husband talking in the background. He's got a big mouth. You've got the Eight of Cups. So, you're moving on from troubled relationships and making a change. You're saying, fuck you later, alligator. I'm out. I'm going to the next town. There's more possibilities, more opportunities. And that's how you feel. The lovers. This is a Gemini. You're done with Gemini. Some you're very you're in the romantic sex and blinded by passion stage, right? She ripped out your heart and you're down there spraying stuff. This is also saying to be careful. And if the passion sizzles out, you know, is there anything beyond that that can keep you guys together? Anything substantial? All right, that is your past, present, and future, right? Pile. Now let's talk about this fourth pile here. You're dealing with a five of swords somewhere in the past, present, and future, right? You're fighting over something stupid. You don't think it's stupid, they don't think it's stupid, but it's something stupid, right? Defeat, bickering, severing of ties, losing a friendship. Page of Wands. You're dealing with the Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Mm -hmm. Someone who's youthful, has high goals, and has a need for growth. Now, this person right here is not stuck in their high chair. Now, this person right here, they can get up out of this high chair any damn time they please, alright? I apologize, I had to put the thing on pause because everybody... Anyway, so they can move mountains if they so choose to. They just right now are just chilling. Alright. Dealing with it, King of Cups. This is a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Someone who has empathy. Very diplomatic and generous. This is also saying that if you've got a situation, and we know you do, and you got to think about it, you got to use logic, right? But you can't use full logic. You can't cut out emotion. This is asking you to add a little emotion to your thought. If you're going to make a decision, like say if you're weighing one person against the other and your scales, you got to think about the pros and cons and whether you love them or not. And if it's real or if it's not real. Sometimes it's hard to tell if your love for them was real. Like soulmate or just I love you as a sibling even though we're not sibling. You know what I mean? Like I care for you but I'm not in, in love with you. Kind of thing. Alright, so five of wands. Okay, same as before. Sim I think. You are each fighting over something stupid, right? You don't think it's stupid, they don't think it's stupid, but it's stupid, and your friendship is crawling away. He, it, this is because of the quarrel, strife, and competition. Don't lose your friendship over something stupid. You're dealing with an Aquarius, the star energy, wish fulfillment, you know? Getting recognition um, and inspiration for your achievements. Nine of Hazards. Prosperity, independence, and confidence. So, while the world was running, everybody in the world was running around like chickens with their heads cut off, right? Not knowing what to do, everybody poured into whole paper and hand sanitizer or whatever else, right? You had a good head on your shoulders and you, you were building. <coughs> I'm sorry. I apologize for that. For some reason, my throat went really dry. It was like a throat shocker thing, which was unusual. So, you're building something from nothing. Okay? I'm hiding two battles. Okay. You're done with the Queen of Wands, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, someone who's fiery, self sacrificing and very caring. So, this beautiful queen here will lend you a hand, even if it's not attached to her wrist. You're done with the Queen of Cups, a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Someone who's intuitive, devoted, and full of emotions. A party girl. Or a party guy, depending on who you are. This could also be your energy, alright? Because Scorpio's in there. And this is your reading. 
Three of hazards. So you're working hard, gaining recognition, and learning skills along the way. And that's great, Scorpio. Now, you have hit Empress mode, okay? This is fertility, maternal, and success. So here's how it goes, all right? Each of us, regardless of what is between our legs, has male and female energy. Now, you don't wake up overnight and be an empress and an emperor. Boom, you right? You have to go through some serious shit to get to being an empress and emperor. And it's kind of like leveling up, okay? You've hit empress mode, and you're doing good in the female energy. All right, six of wands. You're... You're getting recognition and success and victory, right? Everything is falling into place. Now, you remember that soft stalker earlier? Yeah. I don't think it's such a soft stalker anymore now that the devil card has come out. They're definitely watching you and they do not have good intention. They're very obsessive, right? And if you're not careful, you'll end up there. This is um, temptation, excess, and self-destruction. Also a Capricorn card, okay? And you're done with the Knight of Cups. This is either you, Scorpio, Pisces, or um, a Cancer, right? Very romantic, adventurous, and moody. Now, everybody thinks this is like the greatest knight out of their deck, but for some reason in my deck it talks about him stealing your heart and running off as if his, his mood swings are like Tinkerbell's. He processes of one mood at a time really fast. So I, 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 t I call him as a player card. But to each their own, right? And the bottom of the deck and the last card is the death card. Alright, so this death card is new beginnings, transformations, and rebirth. Yeah, most people take it as um, someone died. But it doesn't always mean that. Sometimes it means death of one situation so you can begin another. All right. So I hope that helps. I love you all. Thank you so much for um, listening to me. My name is Libra Empress. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for next time's tarot or tomorrow's daily horoscopes, okay? All right. Love you. Bye.